You're listening to Inside Melbourne, the official podcast of the Melbourne Football Club. Proudly presented by Zurich Insurance, ensuring the things you truly love, like this podcast. Welcome to episode two of Inside Melbourne. My name is Ben Gibson, joined again by Lily Mithin. Lil, must be happy that we got the call up for a second week here. I know, I was a bit concerned actually, Ben. I um, I actually got kicked off the men's podcast, so I've, I'm back here for... Um, Episode two, and I'm very looking forward to it. Let's hope you see out the season. We're going to introduce <laughs> our guests, two stars from the weekend. Two massive stars and a big weekend for one of them. Uh, joined here with Libby Birch. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and another one. Oh, look at her. She's got that cheeky gin out already. <laughs> Welcome to Elise Junior O'Day. Hey, Lil. <laughs> Only eight minutes late. That's not too bad. Might warrant a fine, do you think, Lil? Oh, definitely. This is a big fine. She's very, she's really strict too on the time one. So um, you'll be so signed up. <laughs> it's usually it's usually a dollar a minute. So yeah. straight up $8. That's not a good start. <laughs> now, the million dollar question, did either of you two actually listen to the podcast last week? No. <laughs> That's a really bad start. No. I am a sorry oh, no. sport anyway. I, I was a supporter. I should have, I should have, yeah. Yeah. I should have done yeah. my research, yeah. but yeah, I ran out of time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so. effectively, what you're in for is an absolute grilling. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> I've, I've got my water, ready. so I'm ready. <laughs> We're going to kick it off with a little bit of how well do you know your teammates sort of feel. Uh, three oh, no. questions for each of you. Uh, start with June. How many career games has Libby played? Well, you would have played all the games in season one. So plus, um, so that's seven, and then all the <laughs> games in season two. So that's another seven <laughs> plus grand final and prelim. Was there a prelim? No, there wasn't. <laughs> I don't know. This I'm is way too methodical. <laughs> I don't know. 30. This was going to be a short, sharp <laughs> quiz, but what was the answer? Thirty. There hasn't been that many games. <laughs> <laughs> Not one player in the oh, Agbar though. He's played thirty games. I've already counted season four. So twenty-one out of twenty-three. She was. Twenty-three. So we're not going to pay that. Lib, how many's? At least played. Oh, so I mean, yeah. Do the count thing Do the again. Count. <laughs> <laughs> you can help me there. And um, we'll be back after the break. Be like, yeah, it'd be 22, wouldn't it? Correct. Correct. Well oh, done. Yeah. One to Libby. June I didn't even know that. Her with yeah. that. But that's yeah. okay. Um, one for you, June. Yeah. What pick was. Oh, sorry. Yeah. What pick was um, Libby drafted at? What pick was Libby drafted at? For Melbourne or for Bulldogs? Well, we didn't go to the draft and pick her up. She was traded here. (laughs) (laughs) I reckon also pick, um, were you in the 20s? Could be a long episode. 30s? (laughs) 35. 34. And Libby, what pick was Junior? I reckon it was three. You're both wrong. I'll say Libby's the closest. June is pick eight, eight. and Libby was a rookie signing. We so kind she wasn't of that. Was oh, that is the worst question. <laughs> we did that. That's okay. How many All Australians? How many times All Australian? Lib, how many times has Elise been? Uh, th- I reckon all three. Two. 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 Not that good. June? <laughs> I reckon Libby won. Is that last One? year? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, second year. Yeah, second, second year. Second year. Second yeah. year. Good work, mate. <laughs> All right. Well, I've got another interesting question here for Elise. We did a number quiz mm-hmm. a few weeks ago. You weren't very good, I'll be honest. Yeah. So what number was Libby for the Bulldogs? Uh, eight. It's pretty close. <laughs> 18. 18. What, do you know what number I am? Do you? 14. Well done. Yeah, 14. yeah, well done. You were, yeah, very poor. <laughs> Please don't ask me. Yeah, no, it's I weird. I don't, I don't know the numbers of the players. Yeah, you should know. I know. But Do you I know don't. people's boots? You know how people know what boots your teammates oh, wear? I'd know what you wear. I know what you do wear I wear? Asics testimony. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah good. Anyway, um, Libby, how did um, Elise get the nickname Junior? I have no idea. Oh, no, no you're I at all. I have actually no idea. It's like, not very I'm always, exciting. No, yeah. yeah I, I've always just called her Junior M, like from Darabin. It was always the nickname to go to, but I've never actually heard the story. Oh, it's not very exciting. I was just, I think I was 13 or 14 when I started playing and there was another Elise in the side. So, because I was like younger, they just called me Junior. junior. <laughs> and it stuck. stuck. Yeah. And it stuck. All the way from Canberra, it followed me. But I, I yeah. appreciate that, like, as you've matured, it's just yeah. gone to June. It has it's been. no longer yeah. junior. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. Junie. You're Very like a mature exciting. old lady. Yeah, that's it. Now, June, funny story. I believe you have a water bottle called Kathy yeah. that you have an Instagram account for. Can you talk us through this? Oh, so 
Ke- yeah, Kath, she's great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just uh, ages ago, I remember I went to this camp and they said, make sure you always carry a water bottle with you. And so I went out and bought a huge water bottle, like one of those Kath Mandu water bottles. And then someone said, if you name belongings, you're less likely to lose them. And so, because it was like a Kathmandu water bottle, I just called her Kathy. <laughs> and then Brilliant. I used to watch people post of their dogs on Instagram all the time. So I was like, oh, well, I'll post my water bottle. <laughs> and then like, it didn't last very long. I got, like, you have to be creative to do those things. No, definitely am not. So. 27 posts, 353 followers. It was going okay. Yeah. Gonna post it was going answer. well. <laughs> yeah, when we had Colin Garland here. He was a bit annoyed because Kathy had more followers than him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is a footy podcast, so we'll have to talk a little bit of footy. Two point winners on the weekend. Uh, How did you enjoy your first taste of uh, red and blue, Libby Birch? Oh, it was fantastic. Like it, it, it's felt like I've been here for a long time. Just because it's of the crossover was in April last year, which was really nice, and I've played obviously a few VFL games um, at Casey. So, but it was it's something different, I guess, to pull on like the number nine guernsey with red and blue and it all being official, uh, running out with, you know, my best friends, sisters, and it was just such a special feeling to be out there uh, with everyone and then to get the win in tough conditions was um, really nice. It just topped off the, the first game. Four debutants, June, were you impressed with how they went? Oh, stoked. You, I, like you say, debutants, I wouldn't even know they were debutants. They just fit in seamlessly and everyone played their role. It was just, it was really great fun, yeah. And not really a debutante, but back in the side, Daisy. She would, just looks like she was just back out there as usual. She's an absolute star, isn't she? Oh. A great friend of your birth too. Yeah, you go first. Yeah, I, absolutely seamlessly, wasn't it? It was just, it was something special because I guess all of us have seen all the hard work that she's gone through, um, some of the tough times, the challenging times. I don't know how she's done it. She's just an incredible woman uh, looking after two beautiful kids and <laughs> getting back after being sort of nearly double her uh, body weight, which is pretty incredible. She looked pretty yeah. bad, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Before those kids pop, she was really <laughs> struggling. <laughs> yeah, she, which she will admit yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> she said it was 94 kilos yeah. or something. It's extraordinary. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a credit to her and all the hard work and Ben's support and, yeah, just having two great kids. So, yeah, good on And her. I think they had a bit of a kick in the footy. Well, yeah, I don't know what they she preferred more. They stole the show, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Surely Dave should get a few media fines. Oh, heaps of media fines. But, like, <laughs> yeah. seriously, did you enjoy winning more or just hanging out with them? You wouldn't yeah. know. Yeah. It's so cute. Put and like in perspective, though. Yeah, doesn't it, it, was, it was great fun to have them run yeah. around afterwards. And with Lauren Pierce out of the side, Harriet stepped up in the ruck. Were you impressed with how she went? Yeah, um, Harriet, she loves the challenge. So, yeah, you never never worry about her. She just was up for it from the word go. So, yeah, we were looking job. at some of her uh, vision on um, Monday night and it was just like her brutality at like going for the ball, um, her tackles, her ferocity was awesome and that's what we need um, to win games. And some of the younger girls like uh, Eden Zanka standing up, Tyler Hanks, Pretty exciting with the youth that we've got at the club. Oh, yeah. Zanka, Hanks, Heathy, Sheriff, like the list goes on. It was, yeah, th- there was there was names that the opposition probably wouldn't have had on their whiteboard and not even given, given it a second thought and they'd be regretting that this week in their match review, that's for sure. You speak about Zanka, but she it looked like, and as reported in the media, she's gone down with a season-ending injury. Yeah. <laughs> she's broken her yeah. arm. She's done this. What was the story there? She know. carried on like an absolute pork chop <laughs> out on the ground and then straight back out there in seconds yeah. to win, to kick the match winner. Yeah, she's honestly absolutely full of it, I reckon. I was, I was worried because when, when I saw the arm, it was kind of floppy and like she was holding it as she was running off and I was like, oh, no, this can't be good. I was stressed from yeah. the boundary. Yeah. Maybe it was blowing in the wind because it was <laughs> unbelievable, <laughs> Casey Fields. It was, it was windy. It was what windy. was it like playing in that? Because it was yeah. hard to walk into the ground. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was so gusty. I don't think the TV um, no, did, it it did it justice, justice. because, it, yeah, it just was really blustery and gusty and Casey's hard enough to play on, like, in good conditions, let alone when the wind's sort of going across your boot. It makes it hard to sort of hit the footy yeah oh, you know? I found at some stage if you like went to do a ball drop and the gust came through your foot would actually you need yeah. to find <laughs> you'd miss the ball you'd miss the ball yeah. like it was that gusty and like that strong I don't think I've played in windier conditions and oh, I, I've played in windier <laughs> in last game of season two oh, yeah oh, oh, don't yeah. bring it up okay. oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. well we could bring it up we could bring up the rivalry between 
the, bo- the Bulldogs and Angel. Oh. Yeah, it's a great segue <laughs> show. And the D's, it's... Was that on the run? Two, two yeah, it's on, yeah, it's on, yeah, you do it. You take it over. Well, Melbourne Bulldogs <laughs> history goes a long way back, all the way back to 2013, where you played for the Dogs. What yep. was that first game like? Um, that was just, um, like, it's so exciting because we were playing on the MCG and we are running around, like, in AFL colours. It was a bit surreal because you're playing against Melbourne, who's, like, who's the team I love and support. But at the same time, you're just so happy to be running around, kicking a footy on the G. Um, yeah, who knew what it would sort of turn into? Uh, it's amazing. Did you think back then that you could potentially be playing in a 14-team competition? Uh, definitely not. Like, it's still... Like, it definitely just felt like an exhibition, one-off type game. It, ne- it never really felt real until start of season one when, when we all played in the first round. And you yeah. feel like that rivalry's grown between Melbourne and Bulldogs just because they're both the pioneers of the game? I think so. And I think not just because of the exhibition games. I think now that we've got some games between us in seasons gone by, like, there's a real sort of rivalry there and a lot of dark memories. <laughs> <laughs> Which, Olivia, you can... I'd actually love your perspective yeah. from the other side of the fence because I know we sort of about, talk about it in-house, but what yeah. was your sort of feeling as a Bulldogs player yeah. seasons previous, you know, feeling toward us? Wow, that's a, that's a deep question. Yeah, deep. We're going deep here. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's a very deep question. Uh, well, obviously that game, that was a pivotal game uh, because it meant that uh, we were either relying on the latter another game to get into the grand final or you guys were going to get into the grand final. And uh, so it was, a, it was a big game. Uh, two seasons, two seasons ago, and I remember it was pretty windy, wasn't yeah. it? And it came down to like the last thirty seconds, uh, where we had to, we had to win it, uh, and it was a it was a very very tight game, and it's 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 kind of yeah, it'll be a bit bit surreal, like you know, being on the other side, but this is the far better side for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you come to the yeah. lighter well, side. Yeah, we'll talk more about that match coming up after the break, but first we got a segment. If you had a listen last week, you'd know all about it, but I'll re-explain it. But they didn't because they're terrible teammates and supporters of mine, but whatever. It's called Word of the Day. I've just gotten Kempi to write something on this piece of paper. Lil and I don't know what it is, and in the back half of the show, you have to try and drop it. So it's a pretty random word. Say it. We're going to try and guess it, um, and we'll see how that goes. The girls last week struggled. So we can just uh, drop it into just different... Into a sentence somewhere without us noticing. And bonus points if you can do it more than once. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know what that means. All right, well, good luck with that. We'll be right (laughs) back after this. You're listening to Inside Melbourne here with three stars, Lily Mithen, Libby Birch and Elise O'Day. Now, if you would like to sponsor any of these girls, you can jump onto melbourneexperiences.com.au. But, Lib, you're actually taken. Why do you think uh, you've been chosen over these two? I have no idea, but I'm glad I am. <laughs> pick me, pick me, sponsor me. They want to get around the new recruits. <laughs> yeah. Give, well, give you a spiel, Junior. Yeah. Why would it be yeah, a good idea to... Yeah. Sell yourself. Yeah. So, oh, oh, well... My sponsors um, are often terrific people. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they've got in common. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to move on to Lil's quiz now. This is a real important part of the show. You two are going to guess the answers to whatever Lil asks you. You're going to have to buzz in. Some might be easy. So first in, best dressed, say your name to... Yeah. Uh, That's our buzzer. Yeah. That's yeah. Your buzzer. yeah, just do a little test for me. June. Libby. Nice, <laughs> like that. Okay, question one. Who was our leading possession getter on the weekend? Oh, a bit of bit quick. Come on. <laughs> oh God, June Paxi. Yeah. No, it was yourself. Oh. <laughs> That's minus one. Minus one. Minus one, one for I you. Even... Yeah. Okay. Question number two. What was the highest scoring game of the round? Libby. Yep. Uh, Carlton. Incorrect. Incorrect. Still time, June. If you wanna. June Frio. Correct. Back to even. <laughs> Question number three. What ankle have I injured? Left or right? Uh, June. Libby. Oh, oh, right. Can we review that? Yeah. Probably not. You no, we one. can't. Give it to Lib. Libby. I had to look. Yeah, you did Sorry. have to look. You looked under the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my right. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Well done. How is, that, yeah. how is that tracking, Lil? Yeah, going really well, actually. You've had some um, good progress in the last few days. So it's um, it's getting there. See the surgeon tomorrow, actually. So hopefully you get some good news from him out of the boot and 
get back on the track ASAP. That's what so, we like to hear. Yes, Good. I'll be back out there soon. Question number four. Who won the Big Dash on Saturday night? June, sixes. Nice. Very Do you know how many runs for a bonus point? No. I turned Great. it off once Maxwell <laughs> got out. <laughs> okay, what channel is married at first sight? Libby. Libby. Channel nine. Well done. Uh, I wouldn't know. Well, he's level? Uh, no, that's a that good thing level. to know. <laughs> nah, it's good. Okay, so this is the last question. So this is the final question. Oh, yeah. Winner, score? winner takes all. Oh, scores scores level. are level. Oh. Name the six other teams in our conference. Would be I'll have a stab. Yeah, well done. All right. Okay. Bit of confidence here. Fremantle? Correct. Western Bulldogs? Correct. Uh, uh, Collingwood? Correct. Uh, who else do we have? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the mic picked that up, but Junior is trying Carl. to help. Carl. Yes, Carlton. Uh, uh, two more. Two more. Uh, who else do we possibly play? We do play them both. Been a lot of silences in this podcast. Yeah, no, yeah sorry. it's real, really Do flat. You, no, I don't dumb. know. No, me? I don't know. I d- <laughs> expansion <laughs> teams. Ex- expansion they're teams. They're both expansions. West Coast. No more quiz. Yep. Um, <laughs> Gold Coast. More. Real team. No, <laughs> 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 we play Gold Coast, do we? Uh, West Coast, Richmond. West Coast. Well, it's, not your, the other it's one. not your guessing. West Coast and Kilda. <laughs> St. Kilda. Oh, St. Kilda. Well done. Yeah. All right. Uh, don't know if we can pick a winner there. Yeah, no winner. I don't think. Is there a winner? Hmm. Well, you don't get a prize anyway, so just shake hands and move on. What about Toblerone? I love Toblerone. (laughs) We'll think of that in the future. What do you guys think of the conference system? No comment. (laughs) (laughs) Currently, we just lost, uh, we just beat North Melbourne. They're third in Conference Mm. A and we're fifth in Conference B. It's an interesting one, isn't it? Yeah. I think think it makes, it's it's interesting. Like, it's it's difficult to. I, I suppose it's very hard for everyone to make that as even as possible. Conference A, that's the first problem. Conference A and Conference B, how do you possibly make that as even as possible? But then, yeah. like, it, what, what's even harder, I guess, is, like, the crossover games, like the North Melbourne game, could that possibly have been a really hard crossover game, for example? And therefore, your percentage may be lower because mm. it's a closer game. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think the percentages are difficult to, to gauge because... You know, especially those games, you know, you, you could play an easy – theoretically, you could play an easier game yeah. in your crossover yeah. and get a higher percentage. Yeah. And I think it's like given the fact that we play crossover games, isn't – couldn't that mean that we just have a straight one straight ladder? One ladder. Agreed. Yeah. That's it's, exactly I think, and, yeah. I don't, and I wouldn't have an issue if the, the conferences were completely equal, which is, as Libby said, it's going to be really difficult to do. There's not going to be an issue. But I think if a good team misses out this year, yeah. it will continue to be an issue until – the things are completely even and, and we go from there, which will take time, but yeah. it'll be unfortunate if a good team misses out on finals. Mm. Very yeah. good response. Now, we've got some questions from the outer. Everyone jumped in on social media. One oh, for you, June. Yep. From Sarah Lampard, what is your favourite song of the decade and why? Yeah, it's Sarah Lampard is a fellow player, Lampy. Um, <laughs> she is That's also, for the listeners yeah, at home. She's also an avid, like, Triple J and music listener. Um, so we often have our conversations because Triple J is now doing a tr- hottest 100 of the decade. Um, for me, it's probably a close tie between Free by, by Rudimental and then Flight Facilities, Claire de Lune. I think they're both good songs. There's <laughs> some Rufus songs in there as well. There's so many songs. I'm still doing my list, so it's hard. Good luck with it because I know you really will struggle. Will you do one, Lil? Um, I haven't thought about it, but potentially. Yeah. I'll let you know if I, I do. You should do we it. can. I did see on your Instagram when I was doing some research and in-depth uh, stalking <laughs> a photo with Delta Goodrum. Where does she sit on the... Uh, well, I don't think any of the music's Delta. been played on Triple J, but, yeah, I've got a bit of a... Yeah, she's a bit of a guilty pleasure, some of her, <laughs> music, for some of her music. Nothing yeah, guilty about that. A bit like Tom <laughs> <laughs> like uh, Exactly, yeah. It's such Same a category. guilty pleasure. Yeah. Um, Lana has asked, who is your toughest teammate? Toughest teammate. Either can answer this. Uh, you want to go first? We're all pretty tough, aren't we? Yeah. I would oh, say... Shelly Scott. Yeah, she's yeah. tough. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Scott. one. That's a yeah, really She's one. brutal. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. hit, I'm still angry about that free kick against her on the weekend. I know. For her just going I hard. Think, yeah, Shelly Scott, she just runs yeah. runs through people. I think, I think Paxi's deceptively yeah, Paxi, tough. Yeah. She yeah. comes Paxi. across as looking like... Yeah. 
quite lean and light, yeah. but it's like hitting a bag of bricks. Oh, when yeah. you so I, yeah. I've been, I've actually, her. funny story, uh, at Darabin, like... I'll be the judge want... of how funny it is. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the warm-up, you know when you do your, your, like your shoulder hits? Yeah. Like, she's that strong that you do not want to pair up with her because I got this corky in the shoulder <laughs> before the, like, the siren went and I thought I had to come off with an injury. Like, that's how she hit me in the warm-up. Was that funny enough for you, Lil? Yeah, uh, yeah, but I think the funny bit is that, like, Livy's clearly not the toughest team out if she's yeah. coming <laughs> off the ground for a sure shoulder so corky. <laughs> <laughs> a funny question from Abby. How tall is Libby? How tall is Daisy? Answer is 175 centimetres and 170 centimetres and all profiles are on the website if you'd like to find out any of the other girls. <laughs> wow. Good on you, Abby. Wow. wow. Great. great. Another great plug yeah. for the website. Yeah. Do you run it or something, Ben? A uh, bit of time spent on there. <laughs> uh, Abby has asked, what made you play footy? Um, I'll go first. I, it's all I've ever really known. It was on in the house when I grew up and... I don't know anything other than playing footy. It's a game I love and have always loved. So just it just felt natural to just play it. I've had a, a nice little, I guess, circle, 360 circle. Uh, I never grew up playing footy, was a netballer through and through. And uh, it was uh, Daisy who sent me a text message to get me to a talent search uh, back before the first season. And I actually declined that first offer. And then three months later, I... Uh, asked if I could come down to a session and it was Darabin and June and everyone um, down there that uh, I rocked up at and I've never ever felt uh, more, a more sense of belonging than, than that night. So that's how I sort of started my footy. Very deep answer. I like it. Who is the Petrarca most annoying in the team? From Ooh, Josh. That's a good question. You could potentially say me, but I'm going to say it's not me and it's Crystal. It's definitely oh KP. God, KP's, KP, KP, KP yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. KP's got KP. a lot of chat. I yeah, he said that. He's KP. Team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she got a lot of chat. Yeah, yeah. I think, um, which I'm quite happy about because it's, I've often been the answer to that question, but I think I've matured a little bit. I'm not super annoying. I do annoying things, but um, it's definitely KP. She will, if you're at our season launch, oh, she, that was hilarious. she just stole I the do, microphone yeah. and thought she'd just rap for about half an hour. Yeah, how about, <laughs> and, I do, I how about yeah. asking a follow-up question <laughs> post KP's like 15 minute story <laughs> and Lee still ask the follow-up question. <laughs> just give her, just shut her down. Yeah, just make Enough it time in the limelight for yeah. you, KP. Yeah. We should stop talking about her now. She'll, she'll <laughs> Talk She'll about too it. much, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's my question. Sorry, it's my if turn. Like. Um, Nikki has asked, "What's your favourite training drill and why?" Pretty sure this is um, Nikki. I can't remember her surname, but at Darabin, we all know Nikki. Oh yeah, a great supporter of the club. Yeah, um, I'd love um, kick to kick. <laughs> in the, in the, the park on a Sunday yeah. afternoon yeah. or at training? Just because sure the coaches will love hearing that. <laughs> no, yeah. I just like paired kicking because it means you get heaps of kicks. I like yeah. our. Good response. I like our like our bull ring where you have to sort of. It's like pretty contested where you're in sort of a circle and you have to go in, hit someone, and then come out for a ground ball and yeah. give the hands. That really blows you up. That yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's that one's a good one. Mez yeah. wants to know what areas of the Bulldogs game will we be prioritising on this weekend, this Friday night? Well, they've got some pretty key players that mm. you need to shut down if you're any chance of um, being competitive with them. So big focus will be um, for us midfielders will be stopping their, their midfield unit. And that's probably starts with like um, Ellie Blackburn, Kirsty Lamb, like a couple of really strong smart bodies in there. Yeah, they, judging by how they've played on the weekend, they've, they've been playing on a fair bit, so making sure we focus on those little details uh, with our game plan to ensure that they don't sort of run off with that for Yeah. We spoke a bit earlier about the wind at Casey Fields and Chewy Boot Video would like to know, can the club buy a wind machine to replicate Casey's conditions at Gosh's Paddock? I think that's a brilliant that's idea. Yeah, no, I think yeah. you've got to buy more than one wind <laughs> machine. <laughs> I'm just picturing those bedroom fans. <laughs> yeah. like you need something a bit you're stronger than that. A bit yeah. of a Dyson. Yeah. Aldi. Aldi. The Dyson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, though, in reverse, we should probably invest, and this is one, I hope the um, Melbourne board's listening, the exec team. Yeah. We should get, sure they do. Sure they do. Yeah, I'm sure they do, as if they wouldn't listen. Um, presented to you by Zurich. Um, but we should get the wind turbines... We should invest in wind turbines put out at Casey, yeah. generate a heap mm. of income, make grandstands so then we can actually have protection around the field. Like Amazing. And it would Amazing just be idea. income generator. It would make the facility much better. 
you should go into town planning. <laughs> I, <think laughs> yeah. I should. <laughs> the Casey Council should be listening also. Yeah. Full of ideas today, Lib. <laughs> now, this weekend we're not at Casey Fields. We're at the Witten Oval, Friday night, 7.40. Yep. Must be exciting to play on the big Friday night stage. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, any any stage is mm. exciting to play on. But, yeah, Friday night's great fun because it does o- often like uh, a bit more in- – of an intensity, I think, in the night games for some reason. They just, they're just great fun to play in. So, yeah. Witten Oval's a great game for – a uh, great oval for a women's footy as well. Like, it's just a, a fantastic sort of arena for the game. Like, it fits the perfect amount of people. Uh, and it's just, it's just a big – like, it's a nice stage for us to show our skills on, I reckon, as well. And Dogs coming off a 25-point win, pretty dangerous side. Oh, definitely. They look very strong because St Kilda look – fast and well drilled and then um, dogs went bang 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 and what it was four goals in the first, in the first goal, 10 yeah. minutes that's pretty um, pretty strong display yeah and you speak about that that we probably didn't start as well as we would have liked nah. to this week is that something we'll try and fix this weekend or what other areas yeah. are we trying to bring this weekend huge focus on yeah starting strong I thought yeah we were lucky that we were still in the game at quarter time. I thought, um, and a lot of the review has shown that, mm. yeah, we just we could have been a bit more switched on from the start. So that'll be a big focus, especially for the midfield group. Now we're coming to an end in the podcast, and I have a fear that you didn't drop the word of the day. Can oh, we dropped it three times. Yeah, we you did. did. Oh, Lily, we yeah. Got a slip. We dropped it. What three. Was did you really? Yeah. 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 Toblerone. We did, we did it really. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we did that so well. Yeah. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> It just really caught me moments. It was a real obvious one. Then hold on. I thought as soon as I said it the second time, they'd be like, oh, I I get it. Yeah. He's in. Yeah. Yeah. Twice. Wait, wait, just hold on. I have a question. Libby, when you opened the thing, you said, I don't know what this word is. Yeah. She had to Google it. Why don't you know what Toblerone is? I think it's spelled wrong. Yeah, I don't think. Oh, it is Kempy. Yeah. I don't think that's exactly how you spell it, but I was like, because I was thinking it was more a word with a meaning, but it's a thing. Yes, yeah. chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. That's well, quite good. I'm very impressed. Well done to you both. Well done, that mate. brings us to the end of the podcast. Uh, make sure you tune in to Seven Mate or Fox Footy and watch the girls in action Friday night or head down to Whitten Oval. Enjoy uh, the first podcast. Fantastic. It's the highlight of my career. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. You're welcome back. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, to, I'm definitely going to go and listen to episode one. That's <laughs> Thanks, Lil. Thanks, Ben. And that is Inside Melbourne brought to you by Zoo.